Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlas. I am the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome to have you along. <laughs> there. We're going diving today. We're going to go into the deep sea and go diving for treasure. I'm scared to death. I think I'm going to practice here first to see how this thing even works. Seems to make sense to do something like that, right? Will it let me dive even here? I mean, the water's deep. I can get in, right? Hopefully I can. Oh, 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 oh. oh. K mode. Whew. <laughs> I almost walked off the edge. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, send that down. I've been ziplining just about every time I go down here now. I wonder if I beat the elevator. I bet I don't. This is probably takes longer to do. Okay. I can't see from this side. We may never know. Let's see. Oh, I'm pretty sure. It was probably a close. This is a much shorter distance, though. It's yeah, it's down here. It's yeah, it's that that's yeah, no competition. Elevator probably is faster, but the zip line is a lot of fun to do. It's a whole lot of fun to do. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Wednesday episode said we're gonna go diving. We gotta go diving. We put the uh, diving platform in last episode. Last episode we did a hodgepodge of all kinds of things. I was all over the board. Probably will be today too, um, uh, except for this part of it right here. Uh, I did bring a few things for the ship because we are gonna have to, you know raise anchor and head on out so let's go to our larder i have fish and meat uh, we've got vegetables see i've got cocoa here which we make we can make a few things there's some elderberries right there there's 50 of them um so we've been running into this stuff and we'll we'll run into it again we will now that we're getting into the kind of the cooking stage i think i'm going to grab a few more of those things and have maybe an extra few larders on the ship that we could stockpile with some of the stuff we bring back I did notice that this is an herb as well, so I believe that's a cooking herb, which we were looking for those also. This is a cooking herb as well, rosemary. Uh, the mint, there's mint right there. So we, we needed mint for a recipe up there at the uh, grill as well. Uh, also, what I want to do here today is put uh, a few more beds down in here. I also want to put this and... split stack I want to do that right there what we're gonna do is I am gonna practice out here first and go under the water and see just kind of what happens this is my cloth armor okay so there's certain things I'm not going to need to take with me and I guess if I put them in here this is probably as good a place as any to do that right that's a climbing pick I've got like two sets of climbing picks to shovel that uh, crossbow bolts. I can't even shoot a crossbow underwater, so we can't use it to begin with. We can't use that. We can't use that down there. Uh, that we can't. Uh, this and this. I'm going to throw them in there because I... Well, you know what? No, I'm not going to throw them in there. I'm going to throw these in the upper chest, upper deck. And then we've got oil. I've got oil to put in that as well. Uh, let's go back upstairs here. Yeah. Let's go over here. No, this chest right here. I keep the clothes kind of close to me so that what if I'm sailing... Uh, that's usually when the need arises where I've got to change my clothes. You can see I've got my other uh, journeyman fur armor in here. I've still not made the hide armor yet. It's my, my bad, for sure. Now, what I'm curious is this. Do I wear my fur armor underwater because it's going to additionally protect me from cold? Am I wearing armor at all when I'm inside that suit? Um, inventory. Repair. Thank you. We're probably going to need that, I'm, I'm sure. There's things in my hot bar I don't need either. Um, so, yeah, I've got, a, I've got a few questions as to how things are going to work. We're going to put hit, uh, one of these guys right back in here. I want to put a couple extra beds on the ship because if I die, I am going to want to try to go down and get my stuff. So I want to make sure I've got enough beds to respawn on. And let's put one right next to mine, because you never know, you know, I, I might, I might, I might get somebody in my life here. It doesn't like, uh oh. Whoa, that was weird. Whew. There we go. All right. That was a little strange. Never mind. It doesn't matter. We've got four beds total on here now. I think we can... I think that's maybe all we can have. Uh, F. 
Uh, I could have six beds on here. So it probably wouldn't be bad to have all six on here. It's going to reduce the cost of the crew as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they should be a bit lower in cost now. Uh, 8.4 hours. What? Oh, yeah, 8.4 hours. So it is longer. It was, I think it was 5.3 before. So that's, that, that's, that's a good thing. 8.4 hours. As long as the crew's on the ship, you guys have told me that's when the beds count. The extra beds count on the ship. It makes them cheaper. Yeah, 8.5 hours for uh, her. And then... Pretty? What you doing, Pretty? <laughs> I love this guy. Pretty Alex Black. I just love this guy. Uh, let's go melee. Health. There we go. So I was thinking to myself, okay, do I wear fur armor in this or do I wear my... Uh, plate armor in this because that's the other question would the plate armor better protect me underwater from anything that might attack me you guys have told me that the the fish that attack have been pushed off and they don't do that anymore uh, I imagine there's probably a perimeter to that as far as instigating stuff but they're not supposed to look at look you up basically and come after you um, do I have armor on at all when I wear the dive suit and get hooked up to the dive suit i don't know we're gonna find out today i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna practice right there we've got a few more things to drop off let's do it and then we'll find a, a wreck it doesn't take too long to find wreckage in the ocean i say that right now and watch i'll i'll pay dearly i'm gonna keep the axe on me i'm gonna keep the sword too but i am gonna throw our good one no i'm not gonna throw the good one in here no 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 no, no, no. that's that's just a stupid thing to do we're going to put you right there. And, uh, yeah, why would I even think about taking that out of my inventory? I've got 23 of the bolts on me. I'm good to go there. Okay. Uh, you know what else I'm not going to need is, I'm guessing, I don't need the spyglass. Uh, the water jug needs to be filled up. I need to check my food. It looks like I'm full. I, I, eat, I ate recently, so that's actually looking really good. Let's just take care of our water. Let's get that taken care of. And give me one second. I'll come back. Welcome back. I put all the fur armor on, which, of course, when I'm out here and not wet, it just, you know, completely, uh, I get overheated. But I'm kind of interesting to see here. Okay, so we've got the diving suit equipped. Is that right? Is this the, is this, is this right? I've got, looks like two minutes, three. This is pretty cool. You guys have said I can harvest the uh, seaweed. Is this count as seaweed? God, that time is really hard to read there. It's so small. And then you've got the hose attached to me. Can I go to K-Mode? I can. Okay, so I am in a diving suit. Why is it... And then what do I do to get out? Climb the ladder, I would imagine. That's pretty cool. I might want to put a ladder down there at that end, huh? <laughs> That's pretty cool looking. Oh my god. Oh, I had squatter on me too. I need to get squatter off. That's for sure. Okay, k mode. I got to get a screenshot of this really fast for sure, right? I mean, come on. This is pretty awesome. It looks awesome. <laughs> that is so cool looking. Okay, we'll take it down the ocean. It doesn't look like it's too difficult to uh, to use, so we're good. To, I just need to know what that timer is. We'll just give it a shot. We'll give it a whirl, see what happens. 
um e unequipped diving suit there we go bingo just okay so i do not wear my armor underwater oh did i lose my armor what happened it's right there okay so it takes that off of me oh interesting very cool that's actually a really good idea but i suppose once you get out you want to get the you want to be able to get into your armor really quick possibly not not really maybe right so let's throw that back in there um i'm gonna go ahead and put back on though my uh light stuff because i do want to go out and find uh a sunken ship we're gonna definitely do this now i want to see something real quick does it show me how much oil is left in here 191 we use three oil for what we just did right there now i'm willing to bet I can probably, I've got oil over here, but I bet I could put all of this in there and it would just, you know, we'd use it until we used it up. Just check it every now and again if we find oil on islands that we could just take some of it and put it in here. The rays are always easy to get for it too. Uh, oh no, it has only one inventory slot. Okay, so I can't do that. All right, so I'm going to take a break because it just, it's getting to be kind of mid to late afternoon, and then it's going to be nighttime, and that just kind of sucks. Uh, I don't, I can't recall if you can see the wrecked ships in the dark very well. I know the flotsam glows really well, but I don't know about the sunken ships. If we go to our inventory, let's take a look. Skills, I've only got five points, so I can't buy anything. Piracy, I believe, yeah, there's plunder. Demolishing, salvaging, shipwrecks. Okay, see, this would be... Let's, let's grab that one right there. Improved plunder. Yeah, see, this is going to... This is the other one we want to have. If you're going to be a diver and going for treasure, I'm, I'm curious to see how much treasure we're going to get. I can actually do that as well. I'm going to. You see, I've got all the dive taken care of over here. <clears throat> so we've got one more there, and then what's yours is mine. A feat of supreme piracy, allowing them to greatly accelerate the rate at which ship claim flags count down. Okay. Well, anyways, we definitely want the plunder uh, because we're going to be going after it. And if it, it if it proves to be lucrative, it's it's a good way to go, I think. Uh, inventory. Did I not put my clothes on? There we go. There we go. Much better. Bingo. Uh, so yeah, let me take a little break and then I will come back. I believe I've got all the other research stuff we wanted done taken care of. Uh, so I'll come back. We'll head out. We'll find ourselves a sunken ship and uh, dive for the treasure and see what happens. I just set sail. The sun just came up and uh, a cold front rolled in. Kind of normal. So I've just pulled up the sails to sit it out until it's, it's gone. Uh, you can't see very far, I noticed, when there are cold fronts out here on the ocean. You can see the lighthouse. It's it's not as bad as a fog event, but it's definitely, uh, you know, not safe to be rolling around out there in that. It, it doesn't take long for it to clear up. Uh, I also added a chest over here by the dive platform that we could put the extra oil in and probably uh, the armor as well. Uh, I'll have to change back into our lighter armor as soon as this burns off because it's going to be... Well, it's, it's just now morning, so yeah, I expect this to last maybe a minute or so more, and then I'll be back on the, uh, back on the sails, and we're kind of heading, I, I don't know, we're just, we're going out here, we're just going to go out and see if we can find anything between the islands, that's usually where I tend to find the wrecks, is just before I get to kind of an island area, so I thought maybe if I go across this channel here, now I'm actually traveling to the southeast, uh, but, oh, southwest, I mean, it's okay. As long as the wind is with me, I don't care. So if I can use the wind to get around, uh, that's fine. I'm going to go in the direction that the wind will push me and then push me back. Um, but yeah, okay. I'll be back as soon as uh, this lifts and we can, we can set sail again. From an ice event to a fog event, what I think I should do is turn around and get close to the island because I'm pretty dang sure that right after this happens, it's going to just storm like crazy. I can see the island from here still, so... I'm being delayed on my adventure because of Mother Nature. So I'll be back when I can be back and the weather is uh, suitable for us to head out. It's going to be kind of a waste of a morning here because we're not going to be able to get very far, especially now that there's a fog event. Uh, you can bet the ships the damned are going to be around. Knew it. <laughs> Watch out for cyclones. I knew it. 
We got, we got like the, the triple vector here. Now after this, maybe we'll have a heat event. So I'm definitely going to get a little bit closer to shore here. Uh, I'm very close right now. I can't see anything, but I just knew that this is going to be the lineup for some kind of a crazy storm with cyclones and all kinds of junk like that. So yeah, the last place you want to be is out on the sea. So if you can avoid being on there, it's always a good idea. Uh, I can't see exactly... Well, I can't see anything. <laughs> The island could be right there. We don't have cyclones, uh, so I think what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'll just drop the sail. And once the storm's over, we'll see which way the wind is going to let us travel. In the meantime, free water. Get your free water here. <laughs> One event has passed. The cold front is gone. We're still in stormy seas. We still have a fog event underway. And of course, the, uh, the storm itself. It is uh, incredibly dark out here right now. It's really weird being on the water when you can't see anything except what's directly around you. And the way they made the, the ocean move is pretty dang impressive. Uh, you'd definitely be feeling all of this. Looks like the fog event is beginning to lift. I see something just up ahead on the left in the water. It could just be white caps, but I think there's definitely something in the water right there. It might be a shipwreck location. I'm not sure, but it looks promising. Uh, I'm just going to wait for this rain to let up. The fog event is definitely lifting. You see the lighthouse. I was not aimed at the island at all. <laughs> Unless, unless the storm is moving the ship around. It probably is turning the ship. Uh, there's that. But uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Pretty cool. The fog event is over. Storm is still going on, but I'm kind of just kind of drifting out here towards this. This is a shipwreck. No matter what level it is, I think it would be a good one to do. The pirate ship over there is still off the coast of our island, which I guess we fully expected to be there, right? because we loaded this up with the pirates on. I've been thinking about turning them back on again and just kind of seeing what our pirates do. I guess we can go check them out. They're still, I think, doubled up. Yeah, that is a sunken ship right there. So once this storm is over, we're going to anchor there. Not anchor, but at least sit there and uh, get on that diving platform and go down and see what kind of treasure there is inside this. There's another one just up ahead on the right a little further out. I don't know if you guys can see that one, but uh, I see a second one up here. Now, like I said, sometimes I'll see ships of the damned out here and they, uh, they like this area. I usually have to cut in pretty close between them and that uh, uh, pirate ship off the island there, our island, that uh, I see the ships of the damned. So we're gonna have to be a little bit careful here, I think. Come on. Oh. I guess my come on was nice enough, huh? Was I sounding a little impatient? It's true, I was. Look at the wind shift. <laughs> it just completely changed right there at the last second. It just completely switched around. I think I've got to get a little bit closer to this in order to do this right. Sunken treasure quality 3.6. Okay. So. What I've, you guys have said as I pull up next to it, like I am right now, I can't anchor, obviously, because, well, there's nothing to anchor to. This is some deep water. I am very nervous about doing this right now. I've got the fur armor on right now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that up front and put that in this chest here. It's weird walking around the ship. I don't know how often you guys do this when you uh, get to playing. But uh, when you're at sea, being on the ship, while it's moving is interesting. Uh, squatter is downstairs. This is a treasure 3.6, number 4. Equipped diving suit. I believe that says I've got 3 hours and 48 minutes of air in here. I'm 
assuming I'm going down. No. There we go. Holding down C. Okay. I've turned my lantern on to see if we get a little more light. Okay, so the faster I go down like this, the, the less time I have. Oh my god, that's amazing. I've not looked around to see if there's any sharks or anything. Oh, that is so cool looking. Look at this. Oh my god, that is so cool. Now, from what I understand, you can take this stuff apart and you can salvage the ships. I gotta stay in first person, guys. Sixty-five gold. Oh, the ship disappears once I do that? Oh, I see. Is this the seaweed that I can harvest? Oh, seaweed, look at this. Oh, there's giant clams down here. Now, I suppose I'm asking for some trouble though right here, right? Because now the ship is gone, so... Um, I'm, I'm pretty much asking for myself to be open target for sharks, correct? So let's see how fast can we swim up. We learned all those skills. We should be going pretty quick. We're coming up. Okay, abomination. We need to go back to the tail section here, the aft the tail section. Oh, nice. I suppose I could probably take this off in the water. But I think that is so cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can't move very fast up here. That is awesome as well. I like that. It shows that the boots are weighted down. Uh, all right. Success. 65 gold. Um, I don't know. It was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, 65 gold. It's a 3.6. So I imagine it. You know, this is going to depend on what level it is. Uh, you know, the higher the level, the tougher it's going to be, right? I mean, that would make total sense. Squatter, I just dove under the water. Uh, and this is a fiber. Oh, you guys, that's great. Journey, yeah, I don't think I really need that blueprint right there. I've not taken the blueprints off the ship yet. I know, shame on me. Uh, no, uh, we need to do... That's another thing I want to do, is I want to make the accordion. There we go. And then we've got some oddball fiber, which is weird. We'll just throw that in here for now. Okay, so we're looking for another one, right? There's another one nearby here. Let's go grab that one, too, and see what that's all about. Now, from what I understand, we can gather resources off of these ships. So we'll try to do that. We'll see if we can't uh, tear it down a little bit. And then the swordfish, I would imagine he probably gives us some pretty good resources too. <laughs> it's pretty cool, man. You go way, I feel like I was way down there. You gotta know that that is, that is something for me to do right there. I do not like deep water. Not at all. I am a big chicken when it comes to that. Big time chicken when it comes to that. That was really cool, though. It's a little bit more of a turn here towards it. I didn't realize the whole ship disappeared once I grabbed the treasure. This is a 7.2. Okay, now what does that mean? Does that mean it's even deeper down? Oh, it's so cool to be on the ocean like this. 
How much oil do I have left in there? 190. So I used very, like, like barely any oil at all. And then C. So now what I'm doing is I'm just tapping the control, the, the C key to dive. Because I think I'm using up my stamina. Not my stamina, but the air in my suit. Oh, look at this. I had to do it. I got to see what I get off of this guy. I don't even know what I got. I want to try to harvest something here. The sail's probably going to be really heavy. Could I not have anything in my hands? Hmm. Okay. I, I, I'm holding down E to get an option to do anything with that, and I can't do anything. Oh, this is so awesome, you guys. We are diving underwater for treasure in sunken ships. I mean, that's just really cool. I don't think the cable really holds you back from doing too much. This is where we went last time for it. Fifty-eight, it says, for time. Wow. Oh my gosh. I've never experienced anything like, like this before. Let's go this way. There it is, right there. It's down one level. I just saw it. Can I get in through here? No. We know where it is now. Oh, here we go. Maybe here. No. That cable is right in my way. I can't destroy these walls. What about... Is it there's a way underneath, maybe? From the very bottom? It's, it's, I'm trying to get used to controlling him in the water, too. It's got to be through one of these side holes right here. There we go. There we go. I'm in. I'm in. That's exactly what it was. 159. Okay, that's pretty sweet. That's better, right? It's not as good as a treasure map, but it's, it's better. This is so weird being down here. I hope I've got the water sound effects up enough so you guys can hear them. The big ocean. Holy cow, that is amazing. Just, am oh, what is that? Angler fish. Abomination, go. Go, 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 go. Oh, God, it's a shark. It's a shark. Oh, God, it's a shark. Get me out of this water. Maybe we took a shot at him.
Swim, dude. Swim. Climb. Oh. Oh. I didn't even see what I got off that angler fish. <laughs> I just love the way I look in that suit. That is such a cool suit. I am here for your leader. <laughs> it's amazing detail on that suit. Okay. Oh, I could just hit E. Okay, beautiful. Oh. Shark. Did you see the shark? Oh my gosh. I took a shot at him. I missed. Um, did I get anything for that anglerfish? Oh, 88 oil. Really? Or No, I probably got that off of whatchamacallit. I didn't even look to see if I was getting anything off that anglerfish. It's kind of a shame. I didn't see it. I'll have to look back at the video. Dun, 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 dun. We did it, though. We, we have gone diving for buried treasure. Oh, that is just... Oh, my God. Okay, so... We gotta leave this stuff on the ship for sure because every now and again I'm gonna want to do that. That is a lot of fun. That is a lot of fun. It's very cool. We've picked up a little bit of gold, just a couple hundred, but I mean, think about that. If you had to do this, that that's probably the opportune way at the beginning to get uh, some money together to go purchase or to you know go hire some crew members. I would think. Uh, let's grab squatter back. I'm not cold. Give me a break. Let's use it. There we go. A little, little, little bit of a beverage there for us. Oh, that is a higher... Ooh, I'm, I'm feeling a little woozy. <laughs> ooh, oh. My goodness. Probably shouldn't drink things I find in the sea, huh? This is a legendary wood gun mount. This is five of everything. Okay, so I think that might be the very first one of those we have found. We found the purple. This is the next one in line. Masterwork. It's four of everything. So masterwork is what we're working towards next. Holy moly. That is something right there. I'm just going to put that fish in here. And uh, we'll put the oil actually up there. And then we've got a little bit of hide. We'll throw that in here too. Yeah, a little bit of gold. A little bit of fun. A little bit of treasure diving. We had... I thought I... Oh, I didn't pick the seaweed because I had something in my hand, didn't I? Right. Oh my gosh. What is going on? I'm really just feeling the effects of this, most definitely. Um, oil. Oil, oil, oil. Actually, we've got some in here. Let's go ahead and put this in there as well. There we go. Beautiful. It doesn't use much, it looks like. Which is kind of cool. Uh, okay, that's home right there. I mean, literally, home is right there. Do we see any more out here? I don't think I do. It was actually kind of easy to find them when I had that storm going on. Uh, it was quite easy to find them, actually. Spin those sails around, people. We're heading back. That was pretty cool. If I spot another one uh, between here and there, we'll go down and get it. Which would be cool. Just realized I don't have any journeyman helmet or hats for the hide armor. I thought we'd uh, take a look at getting that put together. So we just have, you know, each set. And I was up there looking through the uh, blueprints, and apparently I forgot to grab the uh, all the helmets out of here. I went through them a little bit and threw some back in, but then, like, you know, I, I didn't come back in to, I guess, grab the helmets. So we've got three there to choose from, which is pretty nice. So that's what I'm working on right now is just getting the... Uh, the hide armor made up. Brought Delilah out. Thought I would do... Well, nothing really. Just to head right back up. But I thought it'd be fun, fun to take Delilah for a run. Mm-hmm. Indeed. All right. I'll be back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make that armor up. There we go. Okay. Let's start with... Where do we start here anyways? Hide boots. Fur. Okay. So hide, hide boots. Hide gloves. Hide helmet. Pants. And jacket. All in journeyman. It's nice having the stuff we need for this. It's really nice. And then I'm going to grab this extra stuff out of here that we just put in so we don't use it up. And it should be all right below here. Stuff that didn't fill in above. This is the fiber we always have, but the other stuff is special, so we'll, we'll take it out. Look at that. Uh, and then what else was there? A, a hide? Okay. Yeah, we've just been doing... We're just. I think we're doing great. I think we're doing great. Let's grab these guys right here. And there they are. Inventory. Now, I'm wondering if I can wear these full-time without having to take them on and off. We've tried this outfit before, 
And I would, wouldn't mind actually taking this and, uh, well, we'll paint it, of course. We've got to paint it up. It has to be done. Uh, but I wouldn't mind, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just like it. I'm kind of thinking this is the armor that we're supposed to be wearing here. Now, what's that guy? Oh, I guess I'm hung over. <laughs> I think I'm hung over a little bit from drinking that brewski that we had. Mm -hmm. I think that's the problem. This little green guy down here counting down. And then I ate that piece of food that was in my inventory as well just to get it uh, kind of used up. Uh, oh, I don't have water in my canteen, my jar. Let me do that real quick. And we're going to, oh, we're going to take a look. We dies. Here we go. T and T. There we go. Inventory. Now, can I actually do this while it's on me? I can. Okay, good. I don't have to take it off of me at all. I'm going to go ahead and leave most of the hat the way it is. We'll apply that there. No. What was for? Let's do that. There we go. Can we paint the, the feathers? We can do that, okay. Number two is that right there. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. So we're on our way. I'll be back. Welcome back. There we are. Looking pretty sharp, I think. Can I pick him up? I can't in K mode. Looking pretty sharp. Let you guys take a look. A little more cyan than last time we did this, I think. But, uh, the, yeah, I, I, I like it. It looks it looks good. Now, after saying that, I do like... There was another skin we saw over at the, uh, the Freeport that I liked as well. That I thought would be really good to put on either the hide or the fur armor. Preferably the hide armor. Because I really like the fur armor. I like the way it looks all by itself without being changed at all. Uh, it, it's it's pretty handsome looking. Uh, let's see. Door. All right. Um, I just got kind of stuck in a storm again. Oh, speaking of which, I opened the barrel upstairs. I need to go close that. I was grabbing water in that water barrel up here. I like having water all over the place. <laughs> I do. It's like I worry about it sometimes. Not, not too much because we've got a lot of it right now. But there we go. I mean, that's almost full again, that barrel. It probably was, and I lost a little bit. Uh, from evaporation, but there it is. You know, it was looking pretty good. Uh, I wanted to try one more thing out, and that is taking you, ma'am. You do have a sword in your inventory, correct? No, you don't. Hmm. Was it you I gave a sword? It is you I gave a sword. Okay, so I want you to follow me. Oh, pushing the wrong buttons here. Alright, beautiful, you're following me. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get her down that way. There are no stairs. <laughs> okay. Let's get her to come down. Alright, back on out this door. There we go. Thank you very much. She's a, she's a quality crew member. You can see. She's just very excited about going out with me. I'm kind of curious. You guys asked me a long, 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 long time ago to do this, and we're going to do it today. Uh, plate... Fine plate pants there. If I do that and that. Oh, I put those in her inventory, not actually on her, huh? And I'm going to the wrong inventory now. Yep, it's all going wrong right now. Right here in front of you. Oh, wow. You guys did say that they might not even be able to do plate armor because of its weight and the fact that they can't carry much. I wonder if that's what I should probably be focusing on then. Hmm. We'll give you a little bit of plate armor, okay? Now, your behavior is set to attack your target. Okay, beautiful. Come with me. I want to see what you got, okay? 
You're moving very slow, though. I can tell. Wow, she is just like, like she's like a giant. She's moving pretty slow. So we're gonna go out and we're gonna go pick on something small. I want to see what kind of reaction you have, what kind of skills you have. This is a, a simple test for the new crew members that come in. We didn't give it to the old ones. We thought of this one with the old ones. So any new crew members that come in, well, you guys have extra stuff you gotta do just to prove yourself. Uh, you can stop jittering for one thing. <laughs> I can't help it, it's the game. All right, let's go on out here. Uh, the trees all disappeared, so I had to back out and come back in. Not quite sure why that happened. Uh, looks to me like they're all back, but yeah, they were all gone, all of them. Uh, there was a level 24 horse out here. I finished this up and kind of got it set to go. Uh, it's too small. A horse would walk right over the top of that, not even fall in. So this needs to be made bigger. Now that I've done it, I'm like, eh, it's not going to work. It's not going to work for me. So what I want to do is I want to try it out on the seagull first and see just what she does. Oh, wow, she is really... You're doing great, hon. You're doing great. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Oh, there's a bear. We don't want to fight a bear. I was going to kind of pick on a, uh, a whatchamacallit first, a, uh, a common treasure map D5. A, I was going to do like a, a seagull. The chicken's no good. Chicken is no good. Oh, we've got bears all over the place this time around, and bulls. Uh, we got something going on over here. Why is this guy unconscious? <laughs> it's snoring <laughs> there's got to be a snake back here or something right got the six shooter out okay I see some whatchamacallits down the beach here I see a seagull I want to try a seagull first just to see what the reaction is and then if we can I'll bump her up to a, uh, a boar but let's go see about a seagull first just run down the beach here. You guys stay with me. It's a beautiful day. Uh, I, I, my, my vitamin buff has been with us almost the entire episode, which is fantastic. Our food is balanced out really great right now. The, the, the hunger is coming down. We're actually doing really well. I, I, I used, I've been using some of the food items. Speaking of which, before I forget again, in the skills, I believe one of you mentioned this too. Uh, unlock cooking and farming. No, it's this one here. Cooking and farming. Here it is. Advanced recipes, secrets of cooking, unthinkable delicacy. Okay, so I do have all the improved expedited orders. This is what? To cook faster? Recipes are cooked? Okay. So I do have all the food stuff open. I thought there were going to be more recipes. Maybe down the road there will be. Uh, I thought maybe I just hadn't opened all of that up yet, but it looks to me like I've got most of it open. So the recipes we see there other recipes we have come on nine fingers nine toes yeah I was a little bummed at the uh, level 24 horse uh, I, I tried to chase it into it and it just wound up swimming out in the ocean and I think it wound up getting eaten or something because it it just wouldn't stop swimming it was like I'm gonna swim I saw a seagull land just over here right there's one right there in the air we're almost to it Here comes one. There we go. All right, so put this away. Oh, nice. Nice way to go, two-legged Charlotte. You duped it. Why didn't you take your sword out, though? Maybe only target conscious. Hmm. I can't put that in her offhand. That's that's where a shield would go. So how do I get her to actually reach in and grab the sword? Maybe if I use my sword, she'll use her sword? I don't know. I don't know. 
So yeah, the horses swim out in the ocean, and the one just kept on going. I was like, all right, see ya. The thing is, if I use my sh my sword, I'm pretty sure it's gonna kill the bird. So I'm not gonna do that. Got a bunch of crows and stuff down here. I don't know if she could duke out a boar. Maybe she could. <laughs> Maybe I should use my sword on a boar and have her tear into that. Maybe I should. If we see a boar, we're going to give it a shot. If we lose a crew member, we lose a crew member. It's a test. Let's try again with a... Well, again, if I, if I slice this seagull, the odds are it's just going to... You know, uh, die. So I'm going to try a punch again on this seagull, and I want to see what kind of damage she takes. Get it, Nine Toes! Where, where are you going, Nine Toes? Okay, this is not a good test. Um, you didn't do too well. <laughs> I was just kind of waiting to see if you were going to get that and you didn't you didn't really get it. Uh, let's let's head back down the beach. Is there a boar nearby here? We'll find a nice low-level boar for her to Oh, she's still going after it. Look at that. <laughs> get it, get it, get that bait. Oh. Come on. The big bug fight. You're gonna... I got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, how much damage does she take? Let's see. Her health. That, oh my gosh, look at that. That actually took a little bit of health from her. Can I force feed her? I can. Okay. I think a boar would probably wipe her out. <laughs> I think a boar might kill her right away. I'm I'm a, I'm not quite sure. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Inventory. I bet I know what it is. She doesn't have the skills to use a sword. Cheaper crew. We've got that going. Improved cheaper crew. Improved talented crew. The speed with the handling sail. Shot rings out and encourages all those aboard this captain ships to work their hardest, offering greatly reduced stamina, consumption, and increased reload speeds for all crew on board. Must be used while on the captain's wheel. Uh -huh. I see. It seems to me there was one for their, uh, maybe the, the fighting. Crushing blows. Now, this is all for us. So the sextant. Motion bodies, improved motion of bodies. Hmm. All right. Interesting. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I have uh, done what I can. I thought there was one for the crew. I know there's, of course, one to make the crew work cheaper, but I just wasn't sure about the other. There's a way to improve their uh, fighting abilities. Are you able to actually get this stuff? Okay, you are. Hopefully her health is back by the time we get to where we're going here. <laughs> I don't know. I'm afraid I might lose her. Level 4. Which one's this one here? Level 4. Yeah, there's some more horses. 
Yeah, the horses are going to be. That's going to be a tricky thing. I don't know. I don't know what to do other than to chase them into a trap. I'll be back when I get her to the next uh, location. I, I, I think I, I may be willing to see if what she does. I'm, I'm curious. She's not going to take that sword out though, so she's already at a huge disadvantage. Maybe it's not such a good idea. You know what? I'll let you guys give me feedback on that. Do you think we should do that? Um, she got her butt kicked by a bee, and she didn't really fight back very much. She was just kind of trying to block the punches. Maybe if she had a shield in her offhand, that would be a better thing. Uh, obviously, it probably would be. Maybe if I put a shield in her one hand, she'd be pulling the sword out with the other. Uh, it just seems like the, the, the crew members we've had in the past on the ship... When I stand them up and they start sweeping, they pull their sword out and they have the broom in their hand. She has a sword, but I've not seen her take that out yet. Or is it some kind of setting that I missed? I don't know. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 03. I want you to have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.